all my bullet points. That's what I'm saying. Look at you. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Don't cry, you know. I'm not a cry. Oh, congratulations. What? You know why you're here? I kind of feel like Well, you're glad you're here. We'd like to honor you today. So if you'll give us a okay. few minutes, we will we'll do that. I'll let you gather your thoughts. <laughs> yes. Thank you to Garland ISD for hosting us today to honor the inaugural recipient of the Making a Difference Award in honor of Geraldine Tynesey Miller. Mrs. Geraldine Tynesey Miller was and continues to be devoted to the students of Texas whom struggle with dyslexia or related disorder. Mrs. Miller, through her work on the State Board of Education, was the first to advocate legislation specifically addressing students with dyslexia in Texas public schools. Her tireless efforts ultimately developed into the first state dyslexia law and the first state dyslexia handbook. Mrs. Miller spent over three decades as a member of the State Board of Education and through her work truly has made a difference to the students of Texas. The Making a Difference Award, named in honor of Mrs. Miller, is awarded to a Texas public or charter school educator who exemplifies the legacy of Mrs. Geraldine Tynesey Miller. Region 10 would like to extend a special thank you to the Selection Committee for reviewing the nominees the decision was a difficult one since each of our nominees has shown their dedication to the field of dyslexia. Our inaugural recipient exemplifies the professional dedication, exper expertise in the field of dyslexia, as well as the inspiration, impact, and sustainability of a program that improves the academic and emotional progress of students with dyslexia or related disorder. We are honored today to have Dr. Melanie Royal, our state dyslexia consultant, announce and present our award. Dr. Royal. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. We'll lower that a little bit. So thank you, Nancy, for the honor of being here today to present the Making a Difference Award to Ms. Marcy Isinger. There is so much I could share with you about Marcy myself. However, I would like to use the words from those who submitted the nominations. Marcy Isinger has been a trailblazer from the time she entered the world of dyslexia in Texas. She has made a difference in every situation she has found herself. Several years ago, Marcy was faced with a huge challenge after joining a school district whose dyslexia department was basically defunct Marcy turned that district completely around by putting processes and procedures in place that would improve the identification and service of students with dyslexia, including implementing the use of an Orton-Gillingham curriculum. She promoted the training of her staff to the CALT level so students would receive instruction from the highest trained professional. To this day, dyslexia therapists from this school district continue to reach out to Marcy for guidance and advice. I believe it is in Garland ISD, however, that Marcy has made the greatest impact to date. Marcy has transformed dyslexia education in Garland ISD. As a result, the district is leading the way by expanding dyslexia services for students and families. Upon Marcy's arrival, the district was em had employed eight dys dyslexia therapists to serve a district with 72 campuses. During her tenure, tenure, which has just been a few years, the total number of therapists has been increased to 104 fully trained therapists during the 2020-2021 school year. Marcy has presented at conferences across the state and nation to help spread the word about the transformation underway in Garland ISD. She has initiated the GISD Dyslexia Informer, a dyslexia newsletter that is distributed district-wide. She has worked with the Mayor of Garland on a proclamation to designate October as Dyslexia Awareness Month in the community. And she is currently working on a research study with Harvard Medical School and Boston Children's Hospital Research Department regarding early screening for reading disabilities. In Ms. Isinger's own words, 
Our goal is to rewrite the story for individuals who once were hidden in their disability and are now thriving in their abilities. We strive to leave a legacy and set a precedent for other districts to emulate the process and procedures that protect, encourage, and develop the academic independence and emotional security for students with dyslexia. No one better exemplifies the passion, dedication, and legacy of Geraldine Tynesey Miller than Marcy Isinger. They are made of the same cloth. Tynesey sought to circumvent bureaucratic problems regarding our bright young students with dyslexia 30 plus years ago. She was a forward thinker who didn't take no for an answer. Marcy has that exact mindset. She isn't adversarial in her approach, but instead seeks to inform with patience and knowledge. Sherry Ray, author of Dyslexia Land states, the goal of advocacy is to bring light, not heat. Marcy ignores the naysayers who say it can't be done. Marcy speaks through her actions and those actions say, watch me make it happen. Her determination and grit are unparalleled when children are involved. She never gives up. Anyone who knows her knows she works 24 seven to make sure her therapists, administrators, and parents get the answers they need. Marcy is the beacon of hope to those of us who look for that leader, not willing to cut corners for kids. When I ponder who will carry the torch for dyslexia in Tynesey's footsteps, Marcy is the first person who comes to mind. There was no one more deserving of this award than Marcy Isinger. And that was from your nominees. So Marcy, it's my honor to present you with the first Geraldine Tynesey Miller Making a Difference Award. We will now hear from Dr. Javon Wells, representing Garland ISD. Thank you very much. Hi, Marcy. Hello. So excited for you. Thank well, you. Well, on behalf of Garland ISD administration, it is my honor to congratulate you on this well-deserved recognition. It is absolutely fitting that you are being recognized as the inaugural recipient of the Making a Difference Award. The tremendous contributions you've made to the students, staff, and families in the dyslexia community in Garland ISD over the past several years are way too numerous to list in the time we have here today. But a few highlights include the development of the entire year-long calendar of events designed to support our students and families with strategic, strategic support and invaluable resources, including the dyslexia simulation, which was very eye-opening. You also single-handedly designed and implemented a training program to ensure that we have expert therapists at every campus. You helped design the screening program that we just talked, heard about to identify students early. We've had so many students talk about how they can now pass the, the state assessments um, and they receive the support they need. All of that is because of your leadership. And last but not least, you also led the development of the annual Dyslexia Conference that we host in Garland, designed to bring educators from around the region and state to learn, collaborate, and continuously improve our practice. All of these actions and more have truly benefited the students and the communities we serve. Marcy, we are forever grateful for your advocacy, your commitment, and your dedication to building from the ground up a world-renowned dyslexia program in Garland ISD. Congratulations. All right. So first, I just want to thank the, the service center in Region 10 in the state just for recognizing me and acknowledging the work. <laughs> that, that, it, that, it, um, that I do every day. I am passionate about it. I care about what we're doing for our kids across the board, no matter what. I know this is horrible. I'm not a crier. <laughs> I'm not a crier. But <clears throat> the fact that I had the support in this district to do what needed to be done is greatly appreciated. Dr. Wells, the board members, the parents, and we have a tremendous staff that I couldn't do it without. We have teachers turned therapist that step up every single day to make this team be what it is. 
and I'm so appreciative of that. It is, it is um, a lot of work to do. It needs to be done, and I, I don't believe in cutting corners, and I'm so thankful and so proud to be here in Garland to be able to do what we do for kids every day, and it doesn't matter if you are a kindergartner or if you're a 12th grader, if you're in special ed or general ed or what the situation is, we will make sure that you receive the services that you need to have to be successful in, in Garland ISD and beyond. So once again, I really sincerely appreciate this recognition in, in what we do every day. And it's a special place in my heart to be here in Garland with what we've been able to do and will continue to do and continue to get better. It doesn't, like I said, we're here to serve every single student, bilingual, K through 12, twice exceptional, special education with, with more support that they need to make sure that we get not only services for dyslexia, but access, access to content and to curriculum so that they're able to be successful and have that chance and opportunity to be what they're meant to be in the future. So once again, thank you everybody for the recognition. I appreciate it. Congratulations, Marcy. This is such a well-deserved honor. You make a difference in the lives of thousands of students with dyslexia in our district every day. Thank you for leading our department and paving the way for student success in Garland ISD. Congratulations, Marcy. I don't know a person more deserving of this award. Marcy, congratulations. Your commitment and dedication to our children, families, and team at Garland ISD are not only appreciated, but noticed. Thank you again for all you do. Congratulations, Marcy. What an honor. Looking back, it is incredible all that has changed since the time you arrived with Garland ISD. Congratulations, Marcy, for winning the Tyne C. Miller You Make a Difference Award. Thank you for all you do to advocate for students and parents and teachers. You're a shining star, and I'm honored to call you a friend and colleague. Bravo. Well done. Congratulations, Marcy, on winning the Making a Difference Award. I'm so pleased for you, and you do make a difference in our lives every day and in the lives of all the kids in Garland.